Raising Canaan is back for season two, premiering August 14th on Stars. We have two of the stars here, Patina Miller and Makai Curtis, to chat all about it. And Patina, of course, you know we got to chat a little bit of this later on. Uh <laughs> <laughs> okay, play Bill, yes. <laughs> all right, let's, let's let's go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, Raising Canaan, and especially, you know, the whole Power series, especially when that series ended, people wanted more. And what's it like to be a part of a series that fans were, you know, wanting to hear more of the backstory and we get to see a little bit of the future, you know, with, uh, with Tommy Egan's story as well, too. You no, know, it's, it's really amazing to be able, first off, to admire a show and, and to be in a process where you get to like enter into this phenomenon, you know what I mean? And, and luckily with our show, they're all new characters except for Makai's character, Kanan. So it's really kind of exciting and nerve wracking to, to, to do because you're hoping that they like it, you know, and it, and it sort of is, you're starting at the beginning of a journey. So the audience is, isn't as familiar. So that can be a little scary, but it's, it's exciting because the world is just so full and the characters in it are amazing. And I think we've done a, I think we've done a pretty solid job of entering into the crazy world of the, of, of the power of it all. And I'm um, really proud of our work. And, and then, um, Mikai, as far as Kanan, especially for season two, there's going to be a lot of changes for him. Give us a little preview of going into the new season of what we're going to see. I mean, really going into the second season with Kanan as well as all the other characters, you're really just going to see a lot of, you know, information kind of revealed to them that makes them want to, you know, move in their own directions a little more. Uh, you're going to see just, again, a lot of these characters coming into themselves even more than they were in the first season. Um, and just how Rock has to try to keep this nucleus, this center of people together with this idea that she's built in. You know, she has to kind of be an octopus this season and make sure everybody's not pulling and moving too far from this family dream that she set up. But yeah, that's really where you find everybody this season is, you know, trying to uh, establish their own sense of individ individuality even more so. And, and even, you know, Rock is doing big business. She's expanding. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, her character and what we're going to see from her. I mean, like Makai just said, she really does have her hand everywhere. It's not only is she extending, trying to keep the family together, trying to center her relationship with Kanan because she knows that um, it's 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 not the same, you know, going in. And so it's about trying to get her son back. But it's also about extending those arms to new territories because she has this power. And what I love about her is that that's not enough. You know, she's a dreamer. She's always set up for herself that she wants more. And if and if anyone's going to get more, it's going to be her. And so she really is a little bit more ballsy and gutsy er this season in her idea about what she wants. And, um, you know, she she wants to she wants an empire. And she's, so how does she get that while keeping the family in line, which is why it's important to keep the family in line so that that happens. So. Let's talk a little bit about, about filming this show. And then we've got Power Book Force here in the Chicagoland area, which, you know, it's fun to see Joseph Sakura posting photos of like his journey, and, and, you know, especially coming back here to Chicago and moving Tommy's character here. But especially, you know, the fans of like the excitement for this series and, and for the other one. Um, talk a little bit about some of the messages you might get on uh, on social media. I mean, I, I got to say, I... I, we definitely feel the love now. I think, you know, being a new show, it's always like people are trying to like figure out, okay, like, what do we like? Like, what are we going with? And I think coming into a second season, we were established now and, and, and it's exciting to hear people super excited about our show coming back and like they love care they already have their favorite characters and you know they already have like their theories and everything so it's just been really exciting to hear all of that on social media <laughs> that's literally i'm you know, piggybacking off of her the love is real honestly everybody's super excited going into the second season you know there's even more anticipation and and more readiness there's more theories about it all, um, I'm just kind of excited to see it all unfold as a fan of the show, as um, a person that was, you know, there performing. Um, I'm just excited to, you know, watch the work that my fellow co-stars put in. And I'm, ex again, excited to watch it as a fan, experience it with everybody else for the first time, really. Oh, exactly. And there's something to say about, you know, obviously, you know, people love to binge series when they first all come out, but there's something about a, a new episode every single week because the fans get to talk about it, get to talk about the episode and what they think is going to happen next. Oh, and there's yeah. something about that, that joy. I mean, I love that joy of, you know, being connected to a show, you know, week after week. And this show has that. This show, the, the, the theories and like the whole YouTube series that have happened off of just like the podcast of, you know, but that is credit to just, 
you know, the vision of like this whole universe, these characters and the way that it's all been orchestrated in the storylines and stuff, people really are invested in it. And I love that. Patina, let's talk a little bit. Pulling double duty right now uh, into the woods. Congratulations. The show just got extended. At first, it said it was going to be an eight week, you know, eight strict eight weeks. The show got extended. Um, you, the whole cast is going to be there at yeah. the beginning of September. I mean, what's it like to be a part of this production? I, 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 I feel so blessed to be able to come back to my um, my theater roots um, eight years away. Um, I love Sondheim. It was one of my first shows uh, out of school, just doing his music. And I've always been a fan of his. And so to be here in this time, he's no longer with us to be able to honor him in this way with this incredible production um, that is really just so beautifully just about the words and, and, and people can really hear it in a way. And so to be playing an iconic role like the witch in this production having more experience in my life just feels even um it just feels even more sweeter and so to be able to do it until labor day you know what i mean it, it's it's incredible i'm loving the audiences they're having the best time i mean let's just talk about the audience reaction when you come out the amount of applause that like that you get right at that moment yeah, it's 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 wonderful. It makes me feel I won't lie. It makes me feel really good. It makes me feel um, so loved and such a great community and people who are coming in. Honestly, a lot of people look like me into the theater. And so that has meant a lot uh, to, to, to be able to carry that torch as well, being a black woman on the stage and playing this role and then to look out and know that like people are being inspired by my work and maybe it'll inspire them to do it. So it's been great. And I get to take all of this stuff back to Raising Canaan because just like the witch trying to connect with her child, Rapunzel, Raquel is trying to connect with Canaan. So I brought a lot of Raquel into my witch, if you if you will, you know what I mean? And our showrunner came to see the show and he's like, Raquel, Raquel and Canaan, this is, oh my God, like the parallels is crazy and it's so true. Maybe we get a little more of that in, in season number three. But thank you so much uh, for your time today. Raising Canaan back for uh, season two, premiering August 14th on Stars. You'll miss it. Thank you, miss it. <laughs> thank you everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.